This book is called The Butterfly Alphabet Book by Brian Cassie and Jerry Pilata and Mark Estrella. This book tells us many different kinds of butterflies and it tells us little facts about each one. Starting with the letter A. A is for Apollo. Apollo butterflies are the high flying champions of the butterfly world. They have been seen almost four miles up in the mountains of Asia. B is for Baltimore checker spot. If you have ever played checkers, then you probably already know how the checker, checker spot butterflies got their name. This butterfly has the same colors as the Baltimore Oriole bird and the Baltimore Orioles baseball team, orange, black, and white. C is for cracker. Have you ever heard a noisy butterfly? Crackers usually fly without making a sound. When disturbed though, these butterflies make a cracking sound with their wings. D is for dog face. When it's flying in a meadow, the dog face looks like many other yellow butterflies, but when it lands, the poodle faces on its wings are easy to see. Nobody knows how these beautiful insects got the name butterfly. Do you know? E. E is for Eastern Kama. This butterfly li loves a sunny, sh sunny spot in the woods. When its wings are folded, you can see a comma on its underside. There is another butterfly called the question mark. But we could not find <laughs> one named exclamation point or period. F is for falcate orange tip. Some butterflies have hard names to remember, but not the orange tips. Orange tips fly in the springtime before most other butterflies. The word falcate means that its wings are curved and pointed. Take a look. G is for great purple hair streak. All kinds of hair streaks and other beautiful butterflies love small flowers that grow in clusters, like the lantana on this page. Planting especially to attract butterflies is called butterfly gardening. H is for harvester. This picture has two harvester butterflies and two harvester caterpillars. Where are the caterpillars? Believe it or not, they are under the fuzzy white stuff, which is really a lot of small bugs called woolly aphids. Harvester caterpillars don't eat leaves. They eat the aphids they hide under. Hmm, interesting. I is for Indian leaf butterfly. The Indian leaf butterfly is perfectly camouflaged. Can you find it? It looks like a leaf on a twig, but you could walk by and never notice it. You see it? Right here, look at that. J is for Jezebel. Jezebels do not like to blend in. Many kinds of Jezebels brighten the roadside in Australia with their red, yellow, and black and white wings. K. K is for Kamehameha. Hawaii is the only home of the Kamehameha butterfly. It is named after a famous Hawaiian king. L is for life cycle. The life cycle of every butterfly begins with an egg being laid on the surface of a plant. Almost all butterflies, almost all female butterflies lay their eggs on a certain preferred plant. The gulf fritillary lays its eggs on the leaves of the passion flower vine. Its caterpillar hatches from the egg and begins eating on the leaf on which it was born. 
After growing and shedding its skin several times, the caterpillar pupates into a chrysalis. Before long, the adult gulf fritillary emerges from the chrysalis to start the cycle all over. L is also for lady slipper. Deep in the tropical rainforest, lady slippers fly among the sh along the shady forest trails. Lady slippers almost always fly within a few inches of the forest floor. M is for Magdalena Alpine. High up in the Rocky Mountains, we find this all black butterfly. Because of the color white reflects light and the color black absorbs light, the Magdalena Alpine's black wings keep it warm. <clears throat> N is for Narcissus Jewel. What a beauty. Narcissus jewels love to chase one another around their home in the mangrove trees. Thick mangroves are a great place to play hide and seek. O is for the owl butterfly. The owl butterfly's huge eye spots give it an owl face look. Owl butterflies are not attracted to sunshine, but they are very attracted to fruit. <laughs> P. P is for painted lady. These butterflies are found in open areas on every continent except Antarctica. They have been seen a thousand miles at sea, and they have even been seen in the tundra. Painted ladies migrate from deserts every spring. Q. Q is for Queen Alexandra Birdwing. Of the 20,000 or so known species of butterflies that exist in the world, this is the largest. This butterfly painting is its actual size. And if you look, it's bigger than my hand. See that? That's the actual size. It's bigger than my hand. How about that? R is for Regal Fritillary. This handsome butterfly is endangered. Its prairie home is disappearing. Lepidopterists, scientists who study butterflies, are trying to save the regal fertility by saving the prairies. Hopefully, it will not become extinct. Maybe you can help. S is for snout. <laughs> a snout butterfly looks like it has a long nose. Butterflies do not have notices. They smell with their antenna. How would you like a snout on your snout? Or two antenna on your head? <laughs> S. S is also for scales. Butterfly wings are covered with thousands of tiny scales. This is a close-up picture of a few. The scales overlap each other and help hold the wings together. Many scales have rainbow colors. T is for transparent. Transparent butterflies have see-through wings. In the rainforest home, they are almost invisible. You could read this book while looking through a transparent. How cool, huh? If you think this is a butterfly, you've been fooled. This is the Urania moth. It flies during the day and is brightly colored like many other butterflies, but look closely, moth antenna and in points. Almost all butterfly antenna end in little bumps called clubs. Hmm. So that's one way you can tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth. U is for Ulysses. Ulysses butterflies are attracted to bright blue objects. When butterfly watchers swing a piece of blue paper on the end of a stick, the Ulysses might think it's another Ulysses and fly in for a closer look. V is for violet copper. Most coppers are about the size and color of a copper penny. That's how they got their name. The violet copper is a copper of a different color. 
W. W is for Western Pygmy Blue. If you want to see a Western Pygmy Blue, you have to look very, very hard. This is the smallest butterfly in the world. With her wings open, it would take three Western Pygmy Blues to cover a dime. X is for Zammy Hair Streak. American butterfly watchers will travel a long way to see a Zammy Hair Streak. It just barely comes into the United States in Texas and Arizona. This butterfly is easier to find in Mexico. Butterflies are insects. All insects have six legs. If some butterflies in this book appear to only have four legs, it's because the front two are very tiny. Why? It's for yellow angled sulfur. All butterflies have two forewings and two hind wings. That's a total of four wings. Butterflies have upper sides and undersides that are usually two entirely different colors. Can you find the two yellow angled sulfur butterflies in this illustration? There's one with his wings open. There, with his wings closed on the underside, it's that color. And the last butterfly, Z is for Zephyl, Zephyr, metal mark. Many metal marks have gold or silver marks on their wings that look like bright metallic specks. Now that you've read all this book, look around your neighborhood and find a zillion butterflies. Look and enjoy, but be careful. Butterflies are fragile. That was the Butterfly Alphabet Book.